Hello, so in this chapter we're going to look at um, rigging a face. I'll start by actually loading up a face first. Um, this is just an example scene with a head that has a bunch of blend shapes uh, attached. And we're actually going to use the character, uh, character faces node to drive this, um, this face. So let's first start with dragging in a new uh, face shift device, making sure that we got streaming data. And we'll go ahead and create a character face node. Um, as you can see here, uh, the plugin already, uh, let me expand that a little bit. The plugin already created a list of expressions. Uh, all those expressions match whatever is coming from face shift. And what we can do here in this, uh, inside this motion builder tool is relate these expressions to blend shapes on the model. Or actually, if we would have a model with um, uh, skeletons or joints, we could go in and set poses on those and relate them in the same way. Um, in this case, we're dealing with a blend shape model. So let's go ahead and drag the model in here. And we end up with a list of blend shapes. Uh, in this case, they already match what, what's coming from phase shift. So we can go in here and select the uh, hyperlink expression and then see where my matching shape is. And you can see here on the model, that's what the shape looks like. So essentially I just go in and for every shape I set the blend shape values. Uh, let's see. Some of them can be a little bit of a hunt to find. Um, also note that you don't need to have to use 100%. I can also do multiple, I can do whatever I want. So I can actually, if these uh, lists don't match up, I can uh, make them match or like uh, set poses that I like. I could also uh, always come back afterwards and tweak these. Um, so let me go ahead and go through the list. Okay, so now that we have all the shapes defined, um, again, as I said, if these don't match up one-to-one, -one, um, you can just tweak these to taste. And you can also go in, and if you don't like a shape, for example, to be at 100%, you could crank it up or down, and, um, um, that, and this will always stay editable. So even after the fact, even after we, uh, we've done this, we can always come back and tweak things later. Um, as you can see, it's not moving yet, uh, so we have to make sure that we activate it. And there we go. So I'm just pulling some random, random expressions, and that's how you set up a character face. In the next chapter, we'll look at how to connect the eyes and the head uh, position and rotation up using a different method.